Let me ask you something, Dad. Um. So my so Dad's uh, he's a he's a magical soul person. Uh, thinks that we need quantum mechanics to explain. Thinks that we need quantum mechanics to explain neural mechanisms. All right. So, so then let me ask you this. All right. Well, I'm just gonna have to hold it. If if you froze a human being to let's say absolute zero or nearly absolute zero um it's atoms so they're all still all the atoms of their brain are still would you continue experiencing and it's just such a dumb question I mean, I couldn't even wait for an answer because I mean the answer is so obvious, and it's just it's just such a silly question. <laughs> yeah, though all physical reality could freeze. Wait, what is absolute zero? Does that mean even the quantum stuff is freezing? In which case, oh, never mind this question. No, right. Or yes, obviously. Just did a quick Google search, and the first thing says, the first thing I saw, screenshot, says, uh, yeah, at, at zero Kelvin, the there's no molecular movement, so the neurons aren't doing shit. There, are, there is only the quantum vibrations. So you're thinking then, Gio, I'd be thinking and feeling and experiencing and observing. For me, by the way, if you take a human brain, let's say you're able to instantaneously take a tap to zero, and then whenever you like, instantaneously bring it back to 100 uh, to 36 37 30 98.6 um then that human brain it, i mean if, if you were able to do that you, you would be able to sort of freeze time i mean nobody would uh and nobody would know you could have, in fact, done that to me while I was making this video. Um, and you could have done it to me a hundred more times since I said that. I wouldn't know.